I'm very bloated today because A, it's that time of the month and B, I have IBS and I decided that I wanted to eat um, a cheese toasty with actual cheese and not gluten free bread. So I made the wrong decision there but we're just going to ignore that. Okay, on. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a new video. Today we are going to be doing a little boohoo haul and this is like mostly boohoo Halloween stuff. So obviously it's September right now, it might not be September this video comes out but it's either September or October um, and a lot of shops have their Halloween stuff in. So I needed some new clothes like desperately. I've changed my kind of size recently and I need to get some new clothes that fit me. Um, so I decided to go onto a couple of different shops and see what I wanted to get and then I kind of got stuck on what I wanted so I went back onto YouTube and I often get a lot of inspiration for what I want to buy on YouTube and I know that Jade the Libra has the best taste in the world so I thought I'd trust her and she did a boohoo haul and she got this one specific dress that I fell in love with and I got that dress and because I was on there I picked up a couple of other items from the Halloween range as well. Now this dress, I think I did this before as well, but this was the last one in its size on the website. So I got the last one in its size on the website um, and then this colour as well because I always seem to do that with, dress, with dresses from Boohoo from Jane the Libra. But I wanted to get it, I'm excited to try it on and I got some other really cute Halloween stuff, mostly t-shirts because that is what I really need right now. I've got trousers, I just need more t-shirts. So let's get into the haul, shall we? Let's start out with the only item that's not from the Halloween section, and it is the dress that I was telling you guys about earlier. This does come very, very wrinkled, so I have actually ironed it, and I'll probably have a cutaway or a photo on screen at some point in the video. I haven't tried it on yet, so I do want to put that, so maybe we'll do that after this segment um it's just this really cute uh, puff sleeve square neckline it's not i think it is meant to be a midi dress but because i'm really short it hits me just like mid calf and i really like that length of dress recently it's got these really cute sheared sleeves it reminds me a lot of the deandre dresses just not high necked and i really want a deandre dress at some point i've got like three different designs saved into my cart at the moment but this really reminds me of one of them which is most of the reason i picked it up it is made out of like a shirt t-shirt material um i'm not sure if it's cotton or polyester there should be a tag in here somewhere that tells me yeah, this is 100% cotton and it is totally the wrong season to buy this. England's weather has recently plummeted by like 10 degrees. So this is more of a summer dress, even though it's winter autumn and it's literally raining outside right now. But I still bought it anyway and I am in love. I had to iron it because it was super duper crinkled. Um, I got this in a UK size 16 and luckily this one will. I think it might be a little bit too big. But that's alright, we can always belt it. The only issue I have noticed when I was ironing it is that the zip on the side here, so it's like a zip entry, um, it's come undone. So you can, this, the zip isn't un, even done yet, but the seam that attaches the zipper to the dress has come undone and it's still unravelling. Um, which is really shitty for the price I paid for this. But at the end of the day, I can fix it. It's not that bad. I don't think it's on all garments. I think it's just this one. Yeah, there's a couple of loose threads um, in the seams where they've been pulled to the wrong side of the garment. So if this is the right side of the garment, the thread's kind of sticking out a little bit here. So overall, it's not the best quality for the price that I paid for it construction-wise. I am kind of disappointed, but I do have it now. We have the silhouette. I did have a look on some other sites as well, so if you can find a similar dress, because when I first looked at this dress, it was sold out. Um, but luckily, I did get it, so I'm really happy about that. But yeah, it gives me the biggest Renaissance vibes. I know it's not a Renaissance dress in any pretense but it just gave me that vibe with the kind of the square neckline and the puffy sleeves it's very tudor and i like it quite a bit um so i'm really excited to see how that looks on um cut away to me trying on and my thoughts on the outfit okay guys this is the dress with the zip issue i have safety wait oops i zip on this idea i have safe pinned it up temporarily um i definitely need to iron the sleeves i didn't iron the sleeves i ironed everything else but i didn't know how to iron the sleeves I am in love with this dress. I think it could have maybe sized down. It's a little bit big, but I think it's nice. It's 
perfect. I love it so much, honestly. Everything I wanted, I'm living my goth cottage core dreams, my gothic gothic core. You know, that that thing. The sleeves are obviously like a balloon shape and they are cuffed at the end here and they also have shearing on this bit as well. It's not tight or anything, it's actually perfect. These bits here, they can be off the shoulder as well if that's kind of the vibe you're going for. But I like mine on the shoulder. Um, they don't sit where my bra strap wants to sit. If I like tuck it in, it might do. But you can see my bra is kind of like poking out. It's red, so it's probably why you can see it so much. If it was black, it probably wouldn't be an issue. But I love this dress so much. It's so flowy. Um, I'll see if I can get a full body shot at some point. Possibly by my door, but it's kind of hard to show you right now because of the, the, the setup of the camera and stuff. So this is the full length of the dress. Please excuse this storage unit. This is where we keep all of our stuff, like my plant products, filming supplies, sewing machines are normally here when they're not being serviced. This is, this, is, this is the glamorous life of storage. But this is what the dress looks like from far away. As you can see, the biggest Renaissance cottage core vibes. Oh my god. I am in love. And I love the fact that it's kind of almost empire waistline. My boob, my bra ends here and the waist begins here. It's like what, a centimetre in it or something? So it means that if I'm bloated, you can't tell. Also, I guess it does kind of give me what's it called you're doing history as a university degree you can't remember what it's fucking called regency this this empire silhouette and this kind of skirt is giving me very regency vibes the sleeves giving me the sleeve and the neckline is giving me mad like tudor vibe and then the sleeves are just giving me 21st century vibes all over i love this dress so much. I love the length as well. I think with a big pair of like goth boots, it'll be cool. Let me grab a pair of boots. Hold that thought. I bet you were all thinking I was gonna get my new rocks. No, I'm getting, I'm getting my demonious this time. Okay, so big goth boots are on. Yes, this is the vibiest cottage core goth aesthetic for life. Yes, 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 yes. yes. This is. This is it, bitches. I think the only thing I might do is see if I can get this neckline to sit straight. I might have to take it in a little bit of the sleeves, maybe like a little little dart right there. So that'll sit straight across my chest, because right now it's a little bit too big, it's kind of folding around the shape of my chest. We have a side zip entry, as you guys would have seen. Definitely need it, because this dress is not stretchy in the slightest. I'm really bummed I didn't get this before winter was over, but I love it. Yes. Big thumbs up. So that was the only item that wasn't from the Halloween section. All the other items are from the Halloween section because it's that time of year. The first thing I got is this skeleton print knit. If you guys know me, you know that I love skeleton print. I have like so many different skeleton things. I might one day make a TikTok on all my skeleton items i think that would be really cool this is in a size large and it's just a knitted skeleton print with little bows on the sleeves i love this so much i actually wore it out today it's really comfy really cozy i don't have that many jumpers and especially cute halloween ones i love this so much i don't think it was even that expensive i have no issues with this at all there is no loose threads it looks really well constructed it's all overlocked on the inside so it's not budging the knit is like proper good yes i'm englishing very well today um i can't see any issues with the seaming um the fabric feels really nice it is not really warm but it's nice and warm let's have a little look what it's made out of. i think it's polyester it's got with polyester yeah 100 acrylic okay so it's, it's not polyester but it is acrylic wool but it is made in the uk so that's really cool but I really love this. I think it's just really cool for like a cosy outfit, but also could look really cute tucked in to like a skirt or something. I'm wearing it with jeans because that's how I live my life right now. But I really love this. I've already worn it, so I can say the fit is good, but we'll do a try and flip anyway. Alrighty, the skeleton jumper. I'm gonna have to tiptoe and walk back. It's quite long, it's like ugh. it comes down to like just where my butt ends, that makes sense. It's really cozy, the print looks really cool. 
I like how it looks. Again, I wore this out today, so I already know how it feels. The sleeves are nice and long. I have short arms though, so I can't really comment, but it's really cozy, it's really warm, nice and cuddly. It's not see-through, I'm wearing like a bright red bra, and I cannot see that bright red bra. So definitely not see-through, definitely good if you want to wear this as a regular t-shirt. Yeah, thumbs up for me on this. Next item I got is a jumper dress. I can't remember who I saw. Someone who I follow on Instagram I saw wear like a really similar design to this but I think it said Saint. This one just says Sinner in this really cool writing. It is a long, oh god, a long dress and I think the sleeves are kind of, yeah they are, the sleeves are kind of um, puffy like a balloon sleeve. I'm, I really love balloon sleeves as well for that medieval vibe. Um, I haven't tried this on yet, I got it in a size 16. Um, what is it called? The Cinna Balloon Sleeve Oversized Sweatshirt Dress in Black. So it's already meant to be oversized, but it's made in the UK and 100% polyester. Yeah, that's what I thought. So yeah, I really like this. Um, you're not meant to tumble dry it, so hopefully I'll remem remember to take it out. I haven't tried it on yet. Construction wise, it's all overlocked. I cannot see any loose threads on this one. I forgot to say the bottom of the dress is a raw hem. The graphic on the front, it kind of has, it feels like it's been screen printed rather than um, like this one, how it's been, what's that called? Ironed on. This one feels like it's been screen printed because it feels like paint. That's probably why you can't wash it, um, I mean tumble dry it. But I'm really excited to see how this looks. It looks like it's really quite comfy and quite warm and I want to wear this with leggings at some point or thermal tights something warm but i don't know where they are right now so in the trial i'll probably be wearing it without okay next up is the sinner balloon sleeve dress jumper dress the sleeves i think are really cute they're obviously very balloony they're not more though they are actually quite long but they do sit right on my wrist so if you will have longer arms than me you might find yourself constantly tugging them down i think this material might be a little bit too thin to sustain this kind of sleeve although i do like it the length let me pan down and show you the length ignore this it is quite a nice length it does come to the end of my tippy fingers and it's, yeah this would be acceptable in american high school it wasn't for what's on the chest i like how it looks i think it fits quite nicely the sleeves are a little bit annoying obviously where it doesn't have the right amount of oomph to sustain itself i like the graphic i think the graphic sits quite nicely on top of my chest goals. Um, if it's quite comfortable, I think you could also take it in at the waist or leave it baggy like this. I'll put it in that one in there, just like chill about in. I am a little bit cold right now. Um, the heating's just turned on and it's freezing in my filming room. Um, be yeah, nice and comfy. It hides the bloating really well. Like, we cannot say that I am bloated, but no, it's really comfortable. It's really cute. I like how it fits. I'm vibing with it. Thumbs up for me, definitely. The next item I have is this Bite Me t-shirt. This is in a size 18 and it is the Plus plus Halloween Bite Me Lips t-shirt in black. This one their plus size range. I'm not a size 18 on my top half, but I like my tops to be a little bit bigger on me. So I think this is probably the equivalent of a men's XL by the feel of it. Um, but this is what the graphic looks like. I think it's really cute, it, it's obviously really tacky, um, but I love tacky Halloween, I haven't got anything against it. Um, also it says made in the UK and it's 100% cotton. It is quite a really soft material, it's quite a thin t-shirt but it's just a regular t-shirt. It kind of feels like um, Primark t-shirts. I don't paid for this but I, I like the cutesy graphic, I like that it's cheesy. Um, I'll probably end up wearing it all year round. I just need more baggy, boxy style t-shirts um, because I've actually, I don't, I don't know where the rest of them are. I have loads of baggy, boxy t-shirts, but I don't know where they are. Or I just, I don't, I don't know to be honest with you, but I needed some nice some, some nice new ones. So I got this one, it's, it's really cute. Um, construction wise, it's like a normal t-shirt. We've got overlocking and double stitching, which is nothing I wouldn't expect no loose threads it's just a standard quality t-shirt i don't remember how much i paid for it. i think it might have been like seven pound or something so you are kind of paying for the graphic but in terms of t-shirts 
It's a good price. Okay, the Bite Me t-shirt. Again, yep, like how it looks. There's no print on the back, there's nothing different there. It fits the exact same as I want a normal t-shirt to fit. It's quite long. I'll see if I can zoom down and show you. You can see it kind of just comes down where a normal t-shirt would be. Again, you can tuck it in if you want. Fits me, standard t-shirt. It's comfy, it's cozy. I think it looks cute. You can tie it up in the front if you want, tuck it in. Yeah, thumbs up, no issues with this. And then the last item I have is another t-shirt. This one is the Plus a Halloween Witch t-shirt in black. They have a lot of really cool t-shirts in the plus size section. I'm not sure why I don't have them in the normal size range. Um, I don't really mind. Again, in a size 18, that's what the graphic looks like. It says Witchcraft and it actually has the um, Sabbath names as well as the sigils, the Sabbath. So same quality as that other t-shirt, nice and oversized. The tag is like in the sleeve here, which is really irritating, so I'm gonna be cutting that out. Also made in the UK, also made out of cotton. It feels like the exact same t-shirt material, same construction and everything. This one also feels like it's been screen printed, like the Sinner t-shirt rather than ironed on. So I haven't really noticed a difference between iron on and screen printing. I've never had an issue with it. This one here, this is, I think this is with this iron on. This is from Spiral, it's my boyfriend's. This one's been screen printed. I think the screen printed frame's a little bit faster. So if you're into like a kind of a faded tea look, screen printing's cool. But I don't think it makes a difference in the quality. Standard t-shirt, nice boxy oversize. Again, what I wanted. But we'll see the try on how I think of it. Sure. If it's exactly like I'd been wanted to, it's nothing real fancy. There's no print on the back or anything. So it's just a standard t-shirt. I like it a lot. It looks cute. I think I look cool. But so standard base t-shirt, nothing real fancy. It fits nicely, feels comfortable. So guys, that was it from me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more clothing hauls, I have like a link to a bunch of clothes that I had done in the past. I am thinking of bringing back a little series I used to do where I used to make a gothic outfit for under a certain amount of money. I've done 10 pounds, 20 pounds, and 30 pounds. I wanna go up in price range at some point and possibly like 40 pounds or more, but also I kinda wanna see if I can do it out of my own wardrobe at some point. Obviously I won't only from one shop. I like to try and make it all from one shop. So if you're trying to get a whole outfit, you have a one shop stop um but also a cool way to show you guys what i have but i have a lot of clothes that i could totally do with making a video on and i think i can't remember their username one youtuber that i used to watch when i was first getting into goth that did four or five outfits under under 50 pounds or euros or dollars whatever currency they were in so i really want to do that at some point um hopefully i can remember who it was that did it so i can actually find the video and then give it credit when I make my video. Um, that was it from me guys. A huge thank you to our patrons slash YouTube members for watching this video. I used to do Patreon, not anymore, but I'm still thanking people who are on my Patreon for doing that because I think I should. And then members as well. Hi, how you doing? You can become a member in the links down below. I'm working on a couple more things you guys will get on there, but stay tuned for that. But guys, stay safe, stay dark. I love you guys so, 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 so much. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.